had a little bit of time picked up a pump for Ron's big old high banker from a guy yesterday he came up to get that uh, the water on the big creek is uh, up a little too high at storm like hell but we're good to throw a couple RPE sluices in the water today we each got about half a bucket of material uh, limited on time but uh, yeah the material looked really really good that we were digging up really really dark looking stuff so uh we were on up there but yeah i'm going to pause this we're going to run some material and uh we'll see what happens all right we are flowing uh looks like material's building up a little bit on this side i got this shinned up a little much but this is the material and when we classify material down here which would we're going to be losing them big nuggets, but uh, I classify this stuff down to about an eighth of an inch. Which, like I said, I found a picker last year that would not have went through that. So, yield RPEs, one of these uh, spent the winter here underneath the bridge. Uh, I always keep Usually there's always a sluice down here, a couple pans and uh, class fire, stuff like that. Shovels that we just leave down here when we come visit the mine. It's nice to have it all down here instead of toting it all up and down the hill every time. Some sunshine would be nice, but... After the storms we had yesterday, I'll take some cool weather and some clouds. The water in this creek has dropped probably three inches today. Uh, this went down a lot. Like I said, we got, had a lot of storms move through last night. And you can see the bottom of that loading up. That means I'm not at a good angle, but uh, we're going to go with it anyhow. So I'm gonna pause this. We're on a little material and be right back. All right, I ran about two thirds of a bucket. Ron is having some water flow issues over there. Don't worry, Ron. It happens to everybody on occasion. But this is what was stuck in the bottom. I'll drop my phone. of the bucket so instead of uh, trying to splash it down in the bucket throwing in the RPE sluice there we'll uh, give it a little bit of a look see and see what if anything was stuck at the bottom of that bucket see all that harness in the magnetics there bam that didn't take long not getting skunked today whether there's anything in that sluice clean up or not y'all see me doing the one-handed pan all the time it's usually just not with the big gear Another little piece right there above the one. I think that was gold. I think it floated on down. Back in the pan, I said that was what was at the bottom of the bucket. A little bit, would have been about half a scoop. 
but uh, it's gold. Like I said we're not going to get skunked, and there's another little piece somewhere down here somewhere. But uh, yeah, we'll suck this baby up and uh, we'll do a clean out. Ron's got more material to run. Unless he's already ran it. No, he hasn't. Alright, we'll be back. Ron's doing a little bit of a clean out here. I just, yeah. done, I just done like three little scoops out of that, man. I didn't want to, I couldn't get the sluice. Yeah, we're getting ready to swap them out. quite a bit in here, though, man. Just for a little bit. Let me in. There's three right there. See if I can wash it a little bit more. Side. We're not getting skunk today. Several pieces of gold in there. Yeah, I'll dump what's in there out and uh, do a little clean up on it. Shall return. All right, we did one clean up in the RPE sluice. Here is the material. Uh, I happen to have a small pan down here, so I think we're just going to go through this stuff a little bit at a time. I know there's gold in there. Ron's finishing up a bucket now. Lots of garnet sands in here. Lots of heavies. This is, there's a little bar at the end of a little wash through where there's a big gravel bar above. So what we're finding here is the stuff that's washing out of the gravel bar when it floods. And there's a little gold trap basically there where we're getting material from. This little pan just is not cutting it. There's more gold. There's some of that micro gold up there in the corner. I'm walking away. There's several pieces. through this stuff and see what we get. There, how do I get it to focus? Ron did his cleanup. 
Yeah, there's Ron's cleanup at a little over half a bucket, maybe two thirds of a bucket. So, uh, still working on mine. I will do a snuffer dump in a second. All right, Ron's finishing up what was left in that bucket. Dumped it all off into that bigger pan. But all in all, not bad at all, considering we probably only ran one full bucket of material between the two of us. Yeah, half bucket. Yeah, here we each ran about a half a bucket, but from a very, very prime location. Did you get a clip of that, that pan I just did? Yeah, yep. And this stuff, you can see how dark that is. It is full of garnet sands. There's no magnet going to help you out with this stuff. some dark material. Is there a piece showing up there? Yep. A couple pieces. Okay, this is the bottom of that box that there should be something oh, here. Yeah, you just washed one down. Yep. Somebody's gonna get that in their Indiana Tater bag. <laughs> Nice piece up there in the corner. Couple nice pieces. To the end, that's when they want to start floating around. It's yeah, this gold around. floats horribly. I was sucking yeah, gold up that was floating on the top of the water when I was cleaning up. Seven or eight pieces in there. Alright, let's suck that up and we'll do a snap and dump. Snuffer dump. The Indiana boys have scored again. Let's see, go from here. I want to fall my ass in the creek. Oh, yeah. That move the scales. That's a probably at least a tenth or so. Yep. I found 0 .08 grams in that exact same spot one day last week. So, all in all, hell yeah. I hell said yeah. so. And that basically came from a bucket total of material. We each ran about a half a bucket Maybe through the RPE. For something all together. Yep. Cool deal. All right. We're out of here. Ron better be getting his ass home. He's going to be in trouble. <laughs>